just mentally and physically exhausted, right? I mean, just trying to see family on Christmas. And I mean, I know everyone is, but yeah, so kind of just depleted at this point. Well, travel troubles piling up at John Glenn International Airport today. Dozens more flight cancellations there, thousands more nationwide. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Sierra Johnson. Jennifer Bullock has the week off. More than 60% of those are from Southwest Airlines, frustrating passengers and leaving them wanting answers. Let's go to NBC4's Anna Hoffman, who is live at the airport right now with the impact this is having on travelers. Anna. Sierra and Jared, so far today, there have been 18 departing flight cancellations out of CMH. All of those were from Southwest. Some hopeful flyers I spoke with say they're calling Southwest the Grinch that stole Christmas. I am frustrated. I'm sad. Extremely disappointed. Disappointment is the mood at John Glenn International Airport. The biggest cause of that mood, day six of massive flight cancellations. And we didn't get a notification from Southwest until after midnight. The thing is, we could have driven to Fort Lauderdale because our Fort Lauderdale to Punta Cana Dominican Republic was not canceled. Southwest Airlines had the most cancellations this weekend. Lines at their kiosk wrapped around the ticketing lobby all day long. For flyers like Joey Frank, it is his third day here trying to get on a flight. Our flight originally was canceled because the crew didn't show up or they couldn't get here. Do you have any hope looking at this? Uh, well, not really, but just trying to see if we can get a refund at this point because we can't get a hold of Southwest on the phone. At baggage claim, luggage keeps piling up. Travel agents say they arrived before their owners, either by plane or truck. Some people retrieving their bags, like Kathy Hively, haven't even stepped foot on a plane. Your Christmas, I'm assuming, was spent in the airport. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't get to see the family Christmas day. We drove to Columbus, and now we have to drive back to St. Louis to drop our car back and hopefully catch a flight back to Kansas City where our car's at. Southwest Airlines is calling this an operational problem. They sent us a statement that says, in part, we were fully staffed and prepared for the approaching holiday weekend when the severe weather swept across the continent. We're working with safety at the forefront to urgently address wide-scale disruption by rebalancing the airline and repositioning crews. Southwest says for the next few days they will be running on a reduced schedule. This means they will only be flying about a third of their scheduled routes. I reached out to Columbus Airport officials for a comment, and they tell me that they've done all they can on their end and then referred me to the airlines. Local for you at John Glenn International Airport, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.